Hi Aries, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Battle 33 Tarot and we're just going to jump right in and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? Uh, now this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same-day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, Aries, this is someone that's in a marriage or a relationship here with you, okay, or is, in the, is about to be, okay? So either or, it looks like here that, you know, they really do love you and care for you and have fun with you, and there's something here that they feel for you, you know, which is wonderful. They they have fun, okay? They really do care about you, like I said. They, you know, they feel, you know, like you make them really happy. There's the marriage, the commitment, what you guys have going on together with each other. For some of you, it could be family members, but it doesn't have to be, um, you know, and right away after that, something about that is what makes them feel extremely guarded towards you for whatever reason. Then they kind of feel like they've settled. They feel a little stuck. They feel bored, but they're still committed here to you and with you. They're trying to figure out what to do. Um, they may be someone that goes to guidance to figure out what to do, but it looks like they still have this passionate new beginning that they want here with you and feel for you. Um, and they kind of just stay more focused on trying to figure out what to do with their own money and finances and or like working with you and making money with you, you know, for the both of you guys. So either or. Okay, so I don't know if they had to walk away from a job or it's like making things work with you, especially when it comes to material and finances is what's difficult. It's like after that, that's where it's like having to do it independently on their own um, is what causes them to kind of feel kind of left out or lack of or like they just don't want to do something anymore. Um, and it looks like there's something about, you know, them knowing they need to walk away from you or be done with you or end something here whatever it is and they don't want to it looks like that makes them kind of go back to reverting to their you know something from the past or about the past or maybe thinking about someone from the past okay and it looks like here that that is where there's a lot of pain but there's still you know there's so much pain going on at the same time you know with them and you they're still willing to make things work with you or do something of a career path or a job um, because they still have, you know, love for you. They care about you, you know, all that kind of energy here. And they do still feel like they are, you know, in their strength here with you. And for some of you, it's because there is a pregnancy going on. They're pregnant, you know, or you are either or there's something about that. Others of you, it's because you guys, you know, have kids or a child. And so they're willing to be neutral and fair with you. But I do see something here towards the end. For some of you, maybe they're having to take care of legal matters here with you or get a divorce. I don't know. Okay, either or here, it looks like they, that's what makes them go cold with you and towards you. And so, you know, they still have love and emotion and care for you, but they're extremely burdened and stressed out, which causes a lot of aggression and fighting and them being really annoyed and, you know, pissed off maybe and saying things to you for the sake of getting what they want or because it makes them feel good or something about beliefs, either or there's frustration and irritation something about that and hopes and goals and all that whether it's with you or towards you but that's where there's this moment of truth and the moment of truth comes out about you know them having new love and obviously if it's not with you it's got to be with someone else or they just want to be single either or that's what makes them um kind of want to hang on to building some things working on some stuff and still hanging on to this position their job whatever it is here to figure out what it is that they want to do
Okay, so unfortunately it looks like here that because of whatever's going on, what they do for work or position or who they are as a person and what the role they play in this marriage or relationship, that's what makes them kind of go through it and look at themselves and their identity and who they are and face so much that something completely closes out and ends between the two of you and it's over. And either they right away jump to who they've been cheating with and having a third party with, or they try to make it work with you one more time and then either or, you know, they end up cheating and, you know, kind of getting into third parties, drinking, smoking, drugs, partying, friends, getting people, you know, people getting in their ear, either or whatever this is here because they slowly work towards that. And then instantly after that, everything looks so much fun or whatever. And then it's like, nope, there's instant heartbreak after that with them to you. There's more pain and it's because of someone in the workplace, some, someone with money position, power, you know, or their own job and career path that they're, I guess, like stressed out about or crying about whatever it is here. So either or. So it looks like here, that's what makes them feel like they get what they want in the situation and or with you. They feel fulfilled with that, you know what I mean? Um, whatever's going on, you guys are both meant to be going through it though, in the situation, you know, it's destined to be whether it's good or bad, but they are trying to make, there's some changes going on here about everything. And so that's what makes them kind of want to be patient and wait and figure out what to do. And for a lot of you, it is because they have a new love. So they're literally waiting when to leave with their person that they've been cheating, you know, their affair, the person they, they've been cheating on you and they, they're kind of planning and figuring out what they can do, um, to leave you to go with their person. For others of you, it's kind of like. They're trying to make things work and spark things up with you, you know, over and over, knowing that a lot has happened between the two of you in this marriage and or relationship. So either or. Um, yeah, by the way, for some of you, it could be them just kind of planning to get, you know, get single, be single, get in a divorce. But they're waiting and trying to invest and figure out what it is they need to do. And that's where they have, once again, either love or romance for you or with you or for someone else, either or. OK, and that's what gives them the idea to figure out what it is that they need to do who they need to approach, whether it's you or someone, or what is it, is it that they need to do here in this situation. And so instead, and for some of you, it's because there's kids involved, either or, whatever it may be, they choose to still make things work with you financially because you guys have a lot together. You've built a lot together. There's a lot of money and a wealth and abundance with that, or there's people involved. And so they choose to stay in this marriage or relationship here with you but they feel kind of stuck, but at the same time, they're kind of okay with it. And that's where they're just actually not, and they just emotionally tune out and disconnect from you anyway. All right, so you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thank you, bye.